below it one of course there's a funny thing that it almost came to me in the exact same way as I cannot find the words again I was kneeling in my living room by my couch praying and there are two significant things during that period of time is that one that in my prayers I would often uh, address God as beloved one because my relationship with him at that point was like more you're the lover of my soul you're the beloved one that I love so those that word was always kind of in my mind and the other thing that important is that that was also a time when I was translating Bible notes for the book of Revelation for one study Bible and in my mind Jesus was this king who is coming in his glory and not Jesus on the cross or Jesus who is teaching and healing but Jesus who is coming in his glory to to judge people and this is what is reflected in the in the chorus when you know you're the god who rises in glory and, and then he's coming in his power and might so this is how it came and some of the words that came to me were just words that i don't believe that i would generally use in everyday conversation there were just some phrases that came to me and i was like hmm this is really interesting put, way of putting that and i decided to use them exactly as they came and later on it just sounded so nice and poetic. Beloved one, in you I find my hiding place. Beloved one, in you I find my joy and peace. You're my Lord and you're my God Beloved one Beloved one Beloved one In you I find my hiding place Beloved one